Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a chit chat get ready with me. I have so many new products to try. Like I think I have a new product for every single category, which is kind of crazy. Okay, so I've already moisturized. I used my Proteiny from Drunk Elephant with my D Bronze Eye, also from Drunk Elephant. So we're ready to go in with some Prima. I'm gonna use my Tatcha Silk Canvas on the perimeter of my face. And then I'm going to use my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer on my pores. I don't know where my little poker chip is for this. I'm just gonna use my fingers. And then a little smoothing primer on my pores and you do not need a lot little tiny bit and I like to press it in really get it in there this is the best primer that I've ever used for pores like for pore filling so good so for foundation we're going to use one of my new favorites, the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation in 3.5 Neutral. It is so beautiful. I need to get a different shade though because this is like really my tan, very, very tan shade. So I do need to get a lighter shade. But I'm going to put some just on the back of my hand. I like to kind of stipple it on as opposed to really rubbing. Because rubbing your skin is going to give you wrinkles. Like pulling and tugging at it. So I try not to rub it too hard. <laughs> That's what she said. I need to shave my little stash. Oh my goodness. Uh-uh, this is not cute. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to do this. It's quicker. This foundation is so thin, you can use a ton of it and it does not look heavy, like ever. Oh shoot, I forgot that I had this sponge. I got this scent, it just was sent to my um, P.O. box. I will put the brand on the screen. Um, I had not ever heard of this brand, but this is really cool. Look at like, and I did wet it. It is a little bit damp. Like you squeeze it and it's like memory foam. It almost like, it's not holding it as much now that it's damp, but when it's dry, when you squeeze it, it kind of slowly goes back into shape. It's really cool. So I'm going to take just a little bit more of the face and body and see how this guy works. Ooh. Uh, which side should I, this? Yeah. Put it on my nose. Okay. Ooh, this feels cool. Oh my God, it's giving me some. What? It's giving me some coverage, girl. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. <gasps> What? What? That looks so good. Right? I mean, this foundation looks good no matter what, but I like this sponge. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to take this shade in my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette number 40 with a Morphe Y18. And I just like to correct with this a little bit. Um, so for concealer, I'm trying the Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer from First Day Beauty in the shade number three. I've been kind of testing this one out. Ooh, that looks light. Okay, we're gonna mix in a little bit of number four. Oh yeah. Okay, that's better. Should I use my little sponge? Wait, how? Should I like smush it? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, here we go. 
I feel like it's dry already. The sponge, not the concealer. How do I feel? Oh, that actually did a pretty good job. Okay, three and four. I'm going to take number three just to brighten up a little bit, cover up this little bit of redness on my nose. Okay. Um. Yeah, this sponge is really good. Like, really good. Okay, and then I've been loving this. The, what is it called? Bye Bye Breakout from It Cosmetics. This is medium tan. This is so good for blemishes. The formula is so thin and it sinks right into your skin and you can't tell that you are spot concealing. With some concealers, you can tell because the... Like the texture is different, but this just blends in so well. I'm going to put my eye primer on, the Smashbox lid primer in white, and then we need to powder this face. Alrighty, so Erin will not stop blah, blah, blah. Aaron will not stop raving about this freaking color pop. No filter setting powder. feel like it's doing anything great for me but it's not really doing anything bad I'm just like it's powder it's you know I'm definitely not like on the I'm, I'm not on the parade float um I'm kind of walking beside the float deciding if I want to get on so on the rest of my face I'm going to be super bougie and use this Chanel powder that I felt I needed to buy this is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Sheer Color SPF 15 powder in the shade number 20. I've been loving this. I think it's really good. So I'm going to use my double-sided hourglass brush. I hate the smell of it. I... I feel like it smells like feet. <sighs> so I do have some new brow products to use from Morphe. So first we are going to try this little micro pencil in the shade, I want to use Java. Okay, now can you see I'm a little, I wasn't creasy until I put that powder on. It'll calm down. It'll calm down. Okay. My brows are a little crazy right now. Um, but we're just going to have to make do. Let's see how this little pencil works. Ooh. I have this scar right here. Um, when I was little, I was with my mom at the Marriott. We were like at the swimming part and they had a gym right there and I was running to go to the pool and I knocked into a barbell or a weight or something and I fell in the pool. My mom said blood was everywhere. She thought I was dead and I've had that scar ever since. So I feel like I've told you guys that story before. I'm sorry that I'm like turned, but I really need to be able to see in this mirror and there's nowhere else I can put it because of where my camera is. So far, this is really nice. It's like not, it's not too dry, but it's not too creamy. I hate a pencil that is super creamy. I would rather have it be like bone dry. Oh yeah, this is nice. I mean, this is like $6. Now, obviously I'll have to kind of go in with concealer I'm just being a little bit messy up. But no, this is this is nice. So I'm going to finish doing my brows and then I'll show you guys the highlighting pen and the brow gel. 
I feel like we're so close. Like, ugh. I really need a filter right now. Ugh. Okay, I think my brows look good. They got a little intense. I do have something else I want to try with you guys, though. This is from L'Oreal's collection with Camila Cabello. It is the Insta Brow. It's like a brow gel, but it... Here, let me... Duh. Let me show you. It has this little tiny, like, plastic tip. So, I feel like it's for filling in... Wait. I feel like it's for filling in sparse areas, which I have a lot of. So, let's try it out. I used it the other day, and I thought it was pretty good. Like, if I use a pencil... Not a pencil, but, like, a, um, a shadow in my brows... For some reason, it doesn't hold. So I have to use some type of liquid. I usually use one, oh, can you see, sorry. I usually use one from Makeup Forever. The brow liner, it's amazing. And I feel like this is like the drugstore version. I think this one is really good. Okay, so this is the palette that we're going to be using. It is gorgeous. So I am going to start out with this shade and a little bit of this guy in my crease. And of course I'm using an E40 from Sigma. Oh, the shade names are Buffed and Dreamsicle, by the way. Okay, you have to excuse me because I did get my Botox and always like the first like three weeks, I have a little bit of like a droop and then it goes away. So we're a little, we're a little droopy. I love this eyeshadow palette. It's so good. So, Emma turned 17 yesterday. Um, yes, I'm sad. Because, like, ugh, how are my kids getting so grown? I hate it. But she was very excited. She was singing Dancing Queen, like, the entire day. Because young and sweet, only 17. Yes, yeah. Um... But yeah, we had a really good day. She wanted to have a special dinner. She had volleyball, which she's like obsessed with volleyball. So she had a really good day. And her friends on her team, like the entire volleyball team surprised her with balloons and donuts and like a sash. It was really, really sweet. So I think that meant a lot to her. So I kind of want to take this shade on my lid, Curtain Call. That's really pretty. Let's see how it looks without any type of base. Ooh, ooh, that's good. I just want this to be like a blown out, you know, like cranberry, cranberry look. Okay, I'm gonna take my L&Y brush. It's just like a MAC 217 before they changed the MAC 217, like the natural hair 217, best brush ever. I'm gonna take a little bit of, what are you, early bird. I love early bird. And I'm just gonna go right in here, just to add a little something different. So I'm gonna put on some Costa Riche from MAC. My favorite eyeliner, ow. Don't talk and have a pencil in your eye. My favorite eyeliner of all time. It's so good. Whew. I'm gonna go into Coco Bear, which is an amazing brown eyeshadow. Same brush. And we're just gonna deepen things up over here. So now I'm gonna do my lower lash line. I'm taking that same brush, no additional product on it. And I'm just gonna sweep this on my lower lash line.
I did have to dip back into Dreamsicle and Cocoa Bear. I kind of mixed them together to kind of mimic what was on my brush when we first started the lower lash line. Okay, I think that's good. I'm just gonna go over my liner because I feel like I blended some of it away. I'm taking a MAC 242 with a little bit of Fix Plus going back into Curtain Call, the shade that's on my lid. We're just gonna spice it up a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, oh that's so pretty. I am going to take this pencil, this highlighting pen, from, well pencil from Morphe in the shade, Def that's not the one I want. Come on girl. Okay, this is the one that I want. It's called Illuminance. It's like a, a pinky champagne. I'm gonna put a little of this under my brow bone. as my brow bone highlight. I love that it's in like pencil form. See how blendable this is. Can I blend it with my finger? Yes, I can. Very nice. I'm gonna clean up my brows then. Like I need to fill in a little bit more with pencil. Brow pencil, we'll do that then. I wonder if this would work on my inner corner. I mean, I'm sure it would. It might not be enough. Oh, that's actually pretty. Oh, I like that. So I'm going to throw some mascara on quick. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go into Cherry Cola right there with an angled brush. Sorry. And I'm just going to run this on my upper lash line. Just to add a little bit of depth. So this one's in the shade Once and Floral. Look at that, that's so cool. I'm gonna just put a little bit on my finger and like tap it on the center. Just a little bit. That might even be too much. Okay. All right, right here. Oh! you see that? Oh shit. Wait, maybe I want to put this on my whole lid. That is pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's so simple and it's so... Pretty. Is that picking up on camera? I'm taking it up into my crease a little bit. Like, why not? Let's play. Okay, now for mascara. I'm kind of just playing around at this point, but that's why we're here, right? My lashes, you guys, are awful. Do you remember when I was putting Latisse on them every day? They were almost touching my eyebrows. I need to get on that again. I need to go and get some because I don't know what happened, but ever since I used a tubing mascara, my lashes have been god awful. They're so short, they've never, like I've always had good, long, voluminous lashes. They're awful, it's like, they're terrible. Oh, you know what, I forgot to put in this Morphe brow setting gel. I'm gonna toss some of that in, even though I am gonna play around with my brows a little bit more. Oh, that's nice. Keep those suckers in place. This right brow, damn, she's bad. And look, the left one's usually my bad brow and this one looks like I used a freaking stencil. Like, what? Usually this is the one that gives me trouble. You're supposed to be the good one. Damn you! But look at these pitiful lashes. Look at those little babies. Oh, oh my God, that jelly shadow really looks pretty. Really, really, really looks pretty. I was just talking and applying and I thought, 
I hit record and I didn't. So all I did, I did my lashes of course, and I just took a little bit of my ambient lighting palette with this It Cosmetics number eight brush, all three shades together and just swept it all over my face because I was just feeling a little flat. So I'm gonna back you guys up and we're gonna do the rest of the face, but this is the eye look. What do you guys think? Okay, so I have this new Wet n Wild bronzer. It's limited edition in the shade, look at this, you're dragging me down. And there's a little, there's a little dragon on it. I've swatched it, I haven't worn it on my face. So, let's try it out. Oh, why don't we? <laughs> okay, so I'm using a Smith 112 brush. I hope this isn't too intense. Oh, that's actually pretty. Wait, I'm not getting much of anything. Oh, that's like really subtle. What? I kind of like it though. I like when you have to build products up. That's actually really pretty. And then I'm taking my Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer in Sweet Tea with my Tom Ford bronzer brush. I've been going so hard with this. And I just put this everywhere. It is so good. For blush, very excited about this product. So I love, with every ounce of my being, these Jouer duos, love them. The blush ones, the bronzer ones are amazing. This is the newest one in rose gold. That is gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna mix, actually I'm gonna start with this shade. <sighs> so pretty. pretty. Like how are you so pretty? I want a freaking answer. And I'm using a Makeup Forever 122. Mm. I don't like a lot of blush. Okay, now I'm gonna bake. I know some people do it before blush, some people do it after. I like to do it after and then kind of mix everything together. I'm going to bake with my La Mer the powder. I like baking with this one. Okay. Ooh, this is good for baking. For highlighter, we are going to try out the newest one from Natasha Denona, the Super Glow Duochrome Highlighter in Light Medium. Hmm. Mm. I don't know that I'm like wowed. It's a little white for my skin tone. Mm. I'm gonna dip into my Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder just to warm it up a little bit. There we go. I think this formula is nice. Um, let me show y'all. But I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know if it's different than any. Uh, uh, 
I don't know if it's different than any other highlighter. I feel like I've already seen this in my collection a few times. I'm gonna put a little of this on my brow bone just to intensify it. Ooh. And my inner corner. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. back into my La Mer powder. I'm going to take a little bit on this R2 from Morphe and I'm just going to buff some of this all over my face. This just helps everything to kind of mesh together. I feel like so powdery right now, so let me take some of my Morphe Setting Mist. So for my lips, I'm taking the Maybelline Lip Liner in the shade Tara, and I am lining my lips. Durr! And then I'm going to take Tempting Toffee from CoverGirl. This is a new shade and it's really pretty. I like this. I'm going over that with Back Talk from Urban Decay because I just want it to be a little bit more matte. But I'm going to take the Bite Beauty French Press Gloss in Flat White. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So good. Oh yeah. I feel like everything was pretty good. I love this freaking sponge. The sponge was really good. Love the Dior foundation. Of course, that wasn't new to me. This Wet n Wild bronzer was really, really good. If you like having to build something up, if you want like intense hardcore pigmentation, that's I don't think that's going to be the one for you. This Jouer Blush Duo, every duo that Jouer does is absolutely phenomenal. I had to blow it, I'm sorry. Okay, I must go because my camera's about to freaking explode because I've been running it for so long. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Yes, I do. Mm. Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my super fun channel. I love you guys. I will see you next time. Bye. What? Oh my God, it's right in front of me. Wow. Oh, you know what? I should zoom you guys in for the brows, right? Okay. Here for it, but I'm, I'm just, okay. Just don't look at it. Just, just don't look at it. I see you looking at it. Don't, don't look at it. Are those, wait, are you, t are you talking with your mouth full? This freaking sponge is amazing. That's all I wanted to say. Jeez, look. Right? Shut the front freaking door. Look at that bun. Well, baby, why do I never put anything away? And then I have to stand here for 36 and a half minutes putting stuff away when I'm done filming. Bitch ass bitches up in this bitch. Bitch ass bitches up in this bitch. What is wrong with you? Today we're going to talk about makeup. Do you know what I always want ASMR people to do? I want them to be whispering. And then I want them to start screaming. Wait, this is just weird. I'm about to start drooling. This is not going to work.